Hello and welcome to iQuantas YouTube channel and today I'll be discussing about six months preparation plan for CAT and you know just six months away this is CAT the final D day. So we'll start with um, telling you about three types of students. Type one who have completed the syllabus but still not confident. This normally happens with the people who have um, started in the month of January or before that. Type two started strong but lost in between. Why does it happen? We'll discuss that as well. In type three not started. I am totally confused. This is something which should be dealt with separately. Now, <clears throat> the first point where people have completed the syllabus or almost completed, but still not confident. So I would say the CAD aspirants who finish 50% of syllabus by June are already 90% ahead of all CAD aspirants. You will say why? Because let's say you have joined six months back. Okay. And in your classes, almost 70 to 80% syllabus has been finished completed but what you have practiced so what is what has been done in the class the similar thing you have done or not they are two different things all together so what we have done what you have done can be different <clears throat> so um, once the class is over uh, it is expected that you should be writing some uh, dashboard assignments solving the hard copy books solving different kind of material to get grasp of the concepts that have been discussed in the class be it live class or the application classes so that is the reason, but even if you have done this much, that means you are 90% ahead because majorly people are not even at 50%. Anyways, we know that and that is why we have devised a pedagogy in such a way that uh, the same thing will be repeated again and again and again. Coming to next point, that is lack of practice. So, okay, you must have uh, completed the syllabus, but somehow you have not practiced much. This is why I discussed in the previous point as well, that we have a, I am ABC batch is there and I want to, that's a different module altogether. Uh, and then hard copy books are there. And then we have uh, the dashboard assignments. So there's a high possibility that uh, you have finished the syllabus in in you know in in a way that okay you have done all the classes but somehow not practiced. Third is how to boost the confidence. First is start taking full and mocks regularly. When I say regularly, for this time starting from this day, it should be one mock every fortnight. When I say fortnight, that means every 15 days. So one mock every 15 days is something which should be done. Sectional tests for the weaker sections and spend more time on analysis and practice. When I say weaker sections, we have 45 sectional mocks. 15 for BRC, 15 for LRDI, 15 for Quant. So let's say you feel that you are weak in LRDI. So practice more uh, sectional tests from that. There is a reason we have sectional tests and all the sections are 40 minutes each. While full length mocks are uh, total two hours each and we have 35 full length mocks. So right now you'll be doing one mock every 15 day and this frequency will increase with every coming month. Well, <clears throat> and spend more time on anal analysis and practice. When I say analysis, practice I have discussed that you can practice from this, this and this. Analysis, so we have um, an AI based analytic, uh, um, AI based mock platform in which the analysis is done by AI, not by you. And this somehow reduces your time of analysis by 3x. So earlier when back in my day when I was preparing for CAT, I took close to <clears throat> five to six hours for analysis. Some people took less but six hours was kind of in a way, I wouldn't say mandatory but it was required. Right now people can analyze everything in one to two hours depending on their speed because most of things which humans had to do is done by AI and we have launched our India's first AI enabled mock platform. So utilize it properly. <clears throat> then. Next is started strong but lost in between. Started strong but lost in between. This is something, this is how motivation actually works for humans. So when you go to do some new thing, let's say, and tell me in the comments, has anybody tried to learn guitar, how to play guitar? It happens that you, you know, you, you buy a guitar and, and then you go to join some classes and after that you go there and play guitar, learn a lot of chords, notes. After 10 days, 15 days, because you are not able to play properly, you get, you know, um, you lose the track of it. That, that normally happens. And after a while, the motivation dips. There's something which happens with CAT prep as well. And, and there are reasons also, <clears throat> mostly because of college exams or hectic job, depending on whether you're a student or a working professional. But apart from these two, it is general, it's a human tendency. So how to get back on track? First, take at least 15 days to revise whatever topics you studied earlier. Majorly in quantities arithmetic. 15 days to revise. 
When I say revise, you have to go through all the live classes in obviously an increased speed, 1.5x or 2x, then go through all the application sessions, questions which have been done, practice questions, dashboard assignments, and whatever assignments that you had done earlier, and there's some questions which in which you were not very comfortable, do those questions again. That is how you'll be revising. 15 days revision plan, and tell me in the comments if you want a proper 15 days revision plan for this only, 15 days revision plan, okay? Because I want to create a playlist in which uh, one video should be connected to the previous video. If you want this, tell me in the comments. To revise whatever you had done earlier. Solve PYQs, previous year questions on the topics which can boost confidence. And to solve PYQs, there are two options at iQuanta website. And it's free of cost. So you can just go there and uh, uh, test yourself on the previous year questions in terms of um, you can just look at the questions and try to practice. Other way is to do it as a mock, as a two hours mock. That is brilliant. So in, in a way, it's not just a, in addition to 35 full length mocks that we have for our paid students and 45 sectionals and 10 other management exams, uh, mocks. PYQ is also there in form of mocks. So basically you can solve all the PYQs as mocks. You should do that once you're um, confident, confident enough. Then coming to setting a target for the remaining syllabus and start preparing yourself for the mocks. So this target, 15 days for the things you have done earlier, then target will depend not only on you, also on the coaching you are a part of. Uh, because uh, for iQuanta, if I say, I uh, make sure that every Saturday you get the schedule for the next complete week. That is how you can sync your preparation. All right. Now, timeline breakup. And I have not discussed the people who have not yet started. I'll be discussing that afterwards. Timeline to break up for, timeline break up for these, uh, those starting now. Starting now, June. Make a detailed list of topics and syllabus for CAT. And in fact, you don't have to do it, we'll do it for you. So if you, if you, you know, uh, keep on looking at different, uh, I have done many videos here on the YouTube channel of Iguanta in which I have discussed the whole detailed plan, the syllabus and everything. You can just go there and watch it. You can take help from the Iguanta resources, link is in the description. June mid to September, clear your concepts, apply in different types of questions, practice different questions from each topic, prepare your cheat sheet, whatever you new things you learn or wherever you turn to make error. Now, <clears throat> to practice. For practicing, there are multiple things. I told you earlier also, apart from the classes that we take, that is live class and the application classes, conceptual and application classes. In addition to that, there are dashboard assignments. There are hard copy books. There's an ABC module. There are rigorous practices happening every day. That is one way. The uh, other is cheat sheet. Now, what is cheat sheet? It's basically making, uh, noting down the generalized observations, formulae, or any kind of trick or tip that you come across, be it VRC, be it LREI. In VRC, what can be a trick? Trick can be some kind of grammar, um, um, like for para jumbles, we can have some mandatory pairs. There can be some grammatical techniques. In LRDI, there can be some techniques which are mathematical in nature. And in quants, we have multiple techniques, obviously. August, 90% of syllabus will be get will get over. At the same time, which is just you guys to start taking mocks seriously from the month of August. By the way, mock season has started. I suggest you to write one mock every fortnight from the month of August. In fact, in the last week of August, start writing mock every week. That is very important. Well, then. August mid to October, assess your strengths and weaknesses by analyzing mocks. Strengths and weaknesses doesn't mean strengths and weaknesses in your nature or character. <laughs> I'm talking about the academic strengths and weaknesses in terms of CAT. Uh, that probably in quant, you might be loving some topic more than the other. So you can just, you know, kind of analyze. And you know what? The AI analysis, the AI level mock analysis gives you exact data of what is your strong point, what is your weak point. It's not just your time for example, time, speed, and distance is weak. No, it can happen Then time, speed, distance has seven to eight different subtopics and you are weak in only two of them. So the kind of topology that we have done in our mocks and the kind of AI assistance that is there, you will be getting a complete idea even at the subtopic level, at the conceptual level of all the sections. So that is where the AI will help you. Okay, and we also tell you how to analyze mocks in detail after the first mock. The first mock, today is the last day. The first mock, uh, the window was of four days. And if you guys are watching this, attempt the mock if you still haven't. August to September, read important concepts from your weak areas and update your cheat sheet regularly. I want I will conduct conceptual application session and practice sessions on each of the topics in the paid group. By the way, <coughs> 
certain topics which in which you are weak and they, are, they, are, they do not have much weightage in the real cat and still after you know many practice sessions still you feel that you're weak in those topics you can just skip that but this stage of skipping certain topics will come later on i'll be discussing that with you uh, for this what can be skipped what cannot be skipped in the month of uh, late august or september all right now <clears throat> Write one mock every week, spend more time on analyzing the mock than you spend on taking it. Two, two hours for taking the mock, three hours for analyzing the mock. By the way, AI will help you in doing it in two hours, but I'm saying three hours for which in which you can also watch the video and textual solutions. Even if you have done something right, there can be a better way. So watch the solutions as well. Strive to improve your performance after each mock. So after every mock, it should be, you know, that let's say you got X here. In the next mock, you should be having 1.1 X score try to improve by 10 percent every mock all right then october to november this is the last time start solving questions from previous year papers which you have solved earlier also this improves the time management this is where i want a crash course will help you this is the time in which are the flagship program of i that is crash course comes into play this by the way it will starting in the midweek of september October, October to November, I'm writing this because this year CAD is on 30th November. So we'll, come, we'll have complete November for that. The crash course is all about solving uh, questions more than teaching concepts. Obviously, concepts will be taken care of, but we won't be going very deep down in the concepts in the majorly application in the questions. So you'll be learning concepts via questions, moderate to difficult level questions of CAD. November, revise your cheat sheet and take a mock every day. November end, crack. CAT. 30th November this year, there is CAT. And uh, I'll tell you uh, one more thing that what has to be focused for quant. In quant, normally it is seen from the past few years that 35% weightage is to the arithmetic questions, while 25% is to algebra. Geometry is 20%, modern math 10%, within laws, permutations, combinations, numbers, and 10%. That is more or less. Sometimes, sometimes it happens that arithmetic algebra form equal, like 30% for both. That is also a possibility. So, in a way, these two are the most important topics for quant. All right. <clears throat> Timeline. Right now, June to September, main syllabus will be covered in three to four months. After every topic, there will be a marathon in which we'll be having cat level questions. Seven step process to complete each and every topic. Phase two. You want to know about this seven step process? There's a video. You can just link, uh, click there and watch the seven step process of uh, Iquanta. Phase two, July to November, mocks and practice, 35 full length mocks, 45 sectional mocks. An INABC practice module, which has 3000 quant questions, 500 RC sets, 500 LRDA sets, video solutions to, for LRDI. And uh, by the way, this has two parts. One is static, other is dynamic. So when I say static, that means it is self-paced. Whenever you want to solve the questions, you can solve them. And dynamic will be mentor driven. So some mentor will be sitting with you, obviously, in a virtual platform. And the mentor will be giving you questions. Okay, 12 quant questions, um, <clears throat> two to three LRDA sets, and same number of VRC sets every day. And that will be kind of a practice session, a mentor driven practice session, timed session. It will be timed environment in which you'll be competing with multiple other CAD aspirants. Phase three is October to November. From October to November, We'll be having CAT crash course in the last two months, plus revision, plus rigorous practice, and at least five mega marathons of 10 hours each. So in a way, if you are studying at iQuanta, you are completing the syllabus at least three times. Once through live class, other through application class, then through crash course. And not just that, in the marathons, you'll be doing it once more for the final nail in the coffin. And that is where the winners winners overpower all the other people. So, I would suggest that you <coughs> be in sync with the preparation, with the iQuanta modules, pedagogy, and anything that you want to look at, anything, each and everything around management exams, around MBA is there on iQuanta YouTube channel. Subscribe to it, like it, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the classes.